Hello and welcome to Berwick Speed Race Total Access Show with myself, Scott Frame, and of course, Greg Blair. You might see familiar surroundings around about Greg here. We're borrowing your booth from the BSN uh, at Glasgow. We'll touch on that meeting just now because we'll speak to Jai uh, in a moment. But it felt as if it was a, a strong performance. We're in it right up to the to the end, really. Uh, that, despite the fact probably our kind of stronger kind of heat leaders, as, as it were, um, probably didn't have the night that they would have expected, Greg. No, not at all. You know, the track conditions were, uh, were, were were difficult for the guys to sort of find a set up with tonight. It kind of caught everyone out and I think Glasgow had expected this, you know, they've done a lot of practice in this place so they understand what it's like with the with the way the weather conditions have been but you know, touching on the fact that the, the heat leaders that, uh, that, that Glasgow had, getting a guest in like Klaus Vissen, who knows this place inside out, was a, a, a fantastic uh, effort from them. Uh, to concentrate on obviously their own performance, Drew Kemp I thought was fantastic. Drew Kemp was brilliant tonight, you know, he was just going out there doing his thing and, uh, you know, he, he wasn't even taking no for an answer when there was there was times where he was having to fight back and, uh, and come into it and do a bit of overtaking, it was, uh, it was brilliant to see. And we can hear from Jai on tonight's performance. Jai, a tough old night at Glasgow, but the battling bandits were back. We give them a, a run for their money, and all in all, I felt we were a wee bit unlucky not to come away with a bonus point. Yeah, definitely. It was a uh, very good meeting for everyone. Um, the boys were all on the pace and stuff. Um, I kind of got a bit unlucky just then in, in 13 when I went back out on the bike. The foot peg was bust, so it is what it is. Uh, we come away all in one piece, and we had a good crack, so we go on to next week and, and see what we do. It's great to hear the positivity that he's have got, you know, in this uh, meeting against Glasgow. It's been a while since that we've been able to come to Glasgow and have a battle, but just a lot of the guys that I heard were speaking tonight were saying that the, the, the setup was quite difficult to find. Yeah, there was uh, a few boys going all different ways, um, trying to trying to find something and get something working, uh, just to get out the starts and stuff. So it kind of come towards it, like at the end, and uh, yeah, we. We'll, we'll, not unlucky, but uh, we, we gave it a good crack, and uh, Glasgow, they're, they're definitely a tough, strong side, especially like bringing Vissing and, and Hagen in as well, that uh, probably made them stronger. Absolutely, and we move on to next week against Edinburgh, that's going to be a, a pivotal clash now in the context of this BSN group. Um, all in all, minimum for Edinburgh next week adds the bonus point. Yeah, definitely, but uh, we're, we're in the mindset we're going to go there and win, so... Bonus point on top of winning there will, will be perfect. And you know, you know, with with the way that uh, it's going for us at the moment, you know, it, it's great to have such a strong team. All the guys are firing well, and you know, who knows, we may even see Louis back at that. It's early, or is it too early? Uh, I think maybe yeah, I see he's been getting a lot of treatment and stuff. Um, probably a couple of weeks away, maybe. I'm not too sure. He says he's uh, he's kind of on the right, right path and stuff. So hopefully we have him back. If not, I'm sure Stuart will uh, sort out a good guest. So when um, we look at the, the makeup of the side uh, this evening, any indication from from Stuart whether we're going to go with the same kind of lineup next week? Uh, I'm not too sure. I I, I I didn't even ask him really about this week's lineup. He just said. You're at five, I want you to be at five and ride like a number five. So here's what it is. Ruboy's got the old boy number now, as we call it. So uh, no, I don't care what number I'm at. you still got to verse everyone and race everyone. Um, so it is what it is. It's a race meeting. Stuart will uh, obviously know which way he's going to put the team and, and we go from there. Thanks for speaking to us, Jay. Cheers, thank you. So that puts to bed the, the Glasgow leg of this uh, BSN series. We head to Armadale next week. Um, as I said, it's, it's going to be a massive meeting in the context of this BSN group. Not only that, Greg, we've got to think about the kind of lucky loser, so to speak, uh, within the, the BSN search section. So it's not all down to winning this, but a win does put us in a strong position. Yeah, exactly. You know, we can just go out there, we can do our thing, and at the end of the day, uh, what happens, happens. It's speedway, and we've just got to keep going, keep plugging away and doing our thing and, you know, we just hopefully the cars fall in the right way for us. Absolutely, and the choice of guest is going to be pivotal as well. Yeah, definitely. You know, going to that meeting, we've got to 
really cross our fingers, but you know, you've got faith, I've got faith in what Stuart's going to do when it comes to a good guest. Absolutely. Bastion down at reserve, uh, he really has a trump card down there, isn't he? Oh, fantastic. You know, uh, I spoke to him in the BSN booth tonight and he was, you know, full of <laughs> how, how much he was enjoying racing. He says, oh, I'm not making the best of starts, but it's good fun going round passing boys. And to have that kind of enthusiasm uh, from a young lad down at reserve like that is, uh, is phenomenal. And the reason I mentioned Bastion is because he is going to be a trump card ex-Edinburgh rider knows, the, knows his way around the place and we're going to rely on him quite heavily next week I would suspect yeah that's it you know he had a good season with, with Edinburgh last year and he's uh, he knows that place very well like you said and I think it's just going to be a case of uh the guys have got that winning mentality. Going there and getting a good winning is going to, you know, it'll do us a world of good. And I, I do believe that's what we can do. Absolutely. And as of time of recording, as you can tell, we are at Ashfield Stadium on the Friday evening. Uh, tomorrow, as we record, will be the kind of deciding leg between Scunthorpe and Plymouth. Most likely be Scunthorpe that we face on Saturday evening. Uh, they have got a very strong lineup, built much like our, our team, I would say. Um, we need a win on the board to take to Scunthorpe in the Keel Cup. Yeah, we really do. And I think we're quite capable of doing that, but we just need to, you know, iron out these uh, these creases that we've got. I mean, I know tonight that we had uh, Freddie's head went down a little bit, just where he had a, a bit of an accident in his first race. Uh, and, and the rest of the night maybe didn't go too well for him. But at the end of the day, he's only just turned 18. So, you know, getting that confidence back into him again and, uh, and, and doing what we know that Freddie can do uh, it'll be you know it, it's what we need and I keep saying obviously getting wins on the board is the most important thing in winning but when it comes to a, a cup clash like we see with, against Scunthorpe we do need to take a lead down there that we can defend really yeah absolutely I mean if we don't if, if, if we don't if we don't go down there with a good lead we're just going to make it really difficult for ourselves we need a nice cushion to go there and um, something that you know it is doable but it's still going to be a hard task so we need all of our seven riders to be firing absolutely and we need your support as well on saturday evening as we face it we no doubt face the scorpions in the ko cup don't forget you can buy your tickets at berwickspeedway.com forward slash tickets and keep up to date with all things bandits on facebook instagram and the artist formerly known as twitter uh, until next week on the total access show it's goodbye from me it's goodbye from me